Hi guys, my name is Leonardo Rocca, and together with Dr. Kimberly O'Brien, we have co-founded the Quirky Kid Clinic, a child psychology clinic based in Sydney, Australia. Over the last few years, we have helped over 9,000 families through a range of complex issues. Many organizations engage us when working with projects relating to children and families. And our award-winning projects and resources have sold to over 20 countries. We understand very well that mental health is a massive issue with significant social and economical consequences. We also understand that finding expert advice is quite challenging and a really expensive process. It's often the case that people seek help when they are at crisis point. And when they decide to seek help, they need to find who, and that process is quite challenging. Waiting lists, recommendations, referrals, finding the right fit, that's quite stressful. But once you do find someone, you often need to get there. Traveling, commuting, waiting lists, traffic, putting your kids in care, it really adds to the drama. Once you finally get there, you need to commit thousands of dollars to get the expert advice that you need. But we really want to change that and with, with our expertise and with the help of technology. Bright Child is a software application that makes it simple uh, for users to access expert information uh, right on time and as often as they need. Bright Child makes it simple for expert, uh, groups of experts to provide evidence-based responses with the help of artificial intelligence. Our focus is in providing quality information delivered right on time, as often as you need it. We really want to avoid the crisis point. Our um, competitors are still focusing on linking experts with people, but we think we can do better than that by providing uh, quality information on both sides. We currently have 740 million children enrolled in primary education. And our uh, goal is for a market penetration of 1% of that target group over five years. Our business model is quite simple, in, on a paper question basis or on a subscription model. Our goal um, is to uh, find suitable uh, investors to make Bright Child a global success. Uh, thank you very much. So we have great presentation. Um, possibly being the, the lone judge from America, you know, yeah. it's several years out in your plan, yeah. but uh, one of the key things that a, a parent needs to do in America is understand, mm -hmm. is this provider, you know, yeah. in my insurance coverage or not? Mm -hmm. Is that functionality that you offer today or is that something you would plan to build, you know, over time before you'd enter the U.S. market? Yeah, so we are working child psychology clinic in Australia, so we provide care for children 2 to 18. So we're really familiar with the health aspects. This application is more an assisted learning technology. Uh, and at one point, uh, we're just providing advice and quality information delivered over a period of time. Uh, on the long term, we're going to be linking experts with people. Uh, so if you need health uh, advice, you then would be linked to, to the appropriate health expert within our network or outside the network. This application is really to provide the early intervention uh, information that you need to avoid, avoid a crisis at the end of um, of, you know, at, at, a, at a crisis point. So it's not so much a health consultation at this stage. It, it can be, so the idea is to scale. So if you do require health consultation, we'll be able to pick that up early on and say, hey, this is outside the scope. And it sounds like you've been asking, you know, questions about this issue for a period of time. You should uh, link up with this health expert. Um, what level of traction do you have at this point? It's a minimal viable product, so we're still on beta testing, and we'll be launching in Australia and Brazil at the same time. Um, the, pr the product hasn't yet uh, been launched on the market, but the experiments with the beta users have been quite successful. How do you define successful? Um, in level of engagement. So users are using and reusing the application, and we have a rating system within the application as well. So you receive a response, and you rate that application based on how successful you think there was. Um, and the reoccurring number of questions sound quite, quite promising. Um, the success for us will be you know, a, a, a good volume of users very engaged with the application. Hi, Leo. Um, so how do you find the experts and why are they offering you the cost at a fraction? Mm -hmm. um, are they reliable yes. because it's cheaper? That's a very good point and that's one of the problems that we want to solve. So currently we have our team of experts that provide support for the platform. 
But the idea is that we're going to provide intelligence with the question. So a question comes to you, and we're going to provide a range of suggestions of evidence-based information that the experts can use to respond, reducing the time that an expert would take to respond to that question. So the idea is really to use available time from experts globally, from education to health, to really provide you know, evidence-based responses with a lot of ease. I just wanted to ask a question about, um, I mean, obviously with this particular use case, there's mm -hmm. a lot of sensitivity around mm -hmm. data. There's a lot of, you know, um, emotional um, fears. And uh, I'm, I'm curious about how you think about risk. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you validate the people who are on the platform eventually? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, how much of that would you be looking at um, mm -hmm. taking on board yourself? Yeah, yeah, that's a very good question. It's an issue that, you know, it, it is very important. I think what puts us in a very good position to be there. It's our existing experience with health information, health data, the ethics around that. Um, we offer the users currently the option to choose avatars and completely different names uh, if, if they want to. So, you know, giving the user the choice to provide, you know, real identifiable information or not. Uh, selecting the experts will be a careful process. So the idea is that we really want to identify, you know, the best experts or expert groups uh, that are prepared, you know, to contribute with us on a global scale. So currently we're keeping the experts in the house. So we have a team of six uh, professionals in Australia and we have a team of two professionals in Brazil and they will be taking care of that process. The idea is to reduce the amount of time taken to provide a quality response. Uh, so we don't really want to have to, you know, create content all the time. In child development, a lot of the issues are reoccurring. So children aged two to four, uh, they have some developmental concerns that are very common for the age group. So we really want to provide that intelligence around, uh, you know, tailored responses for the age group and common issues. So we analyze the data, define what level of um, uh, information that the, the, the questions on a reoccurring basis and tailor those responses. Thanks so much. Thanks. Wonderful, guys. Thank you very much. Give them a round of applause. <laughs>